Hello, Cyclocross friends, and welcome back to Cyclocross Television. We are at Fallon Park in Roanoke, Virginia, for Virginia's Blue Ridge Go Cross, presented by this Shoots Brewery. And for this episode, we're showcasing the Saturday's men's UCI field. It's hot, it's humid in the Roanoke Valley, and we are about to get the whistle. And from the line, it's Cannondale Cyclocross World's Curtis White who takes the early lead. He has Travis Liverman, Kerry Warner, Alex Ryan, Eric Thompson, and well, pretty much everyone with him. I mean, the race, it's only 12 seconds old. Around the early turns and onto the infield, the pack goes. It's already starting to string out, but before we get too far, Freeze! Stop the feed. Right there. That's Eric Thompson, a favorite for the podium. He's stuck doing the drivetrain shuffle on the side of the track while everybody else is continuing on with their race because there's no waiting in cyclocross. And speaking of motoring, Travis Liverman isn't sticking around to admire White's fancy Pan Am jersey. He's going straight to the front and driving this train. And a good thing he did, because White decides to dismount and run in the stand, which catches Werner completely by surprise. White also catches and passes Liverman, who also had a dismount, but that's beside the point. Not content to follow wheels, Liverman goes right back to the front as the group heads towards the big U. In on camber, down and up with utility pole obstacles embedded in the hillside, this is the key feature on this track. But it's not the most tricky feature. That one comes up right now after the big U is the long left hand off camber sweeper that is completely blown out at this point. Many different line choices to explore, and by the end of the day, each of these racers will have explored them all. Following the sweeper is this long stretch of what enticing speed track. Liverman continues to lead, and his pace is starting to break up the field. At the end of the stretch is a wooded single track sector that's a nice respite from the sun and the hammering. White has once again taken over the lead with Werner in the second spot and Liverman in third. Alex Ryan has also moved to the front along with Trent Blackburn, Andrea Slun Anderson, and... Is that Ben Frederick? Not seen in the top 15 is Eric Thompson who must have lost a ton of time with that drop chain. Trip over the flyover is a good early dress rehearsal for the finish. This really is where the race must be won. A series of tight turns right before the finish and a very short sprint means it would take a big effort, lots of moxie, and a fair dose of luck to come around on the final stretch. White leads the field through the end of lap one and then hands off captaining duties to Werner who takes a shift behind the wheel. He probably also doesn't want to be behind White this time in the sand and leads the way with no obstructions. Werner, White, Lane, I want my $2 mar, Liverman, Ryan, Blackburn, and yes, yes, that is Ben Frederick make up the lead group. Back at the Big U and the group of seven are all still there. On the sweeper, White sessions the low to high line option while Liverman rails the lift. Through the chewed up S turns on the pool side of the track and Werner is now pushing the pace, trying to dwindle down the lead group to a workable size. At the flyover, it's Werner, White and Ryan with Frederick hanging just off the tail end. Liverman fights to catch back. In the chase group, it's Anderson and then Eric Thompson? He's back? Seventh spot? That is the ride of the day already, and we're only a couple laps in. Here's a look at those final turns before the finish that we we're talking about that make a pass so difficult at the end of the race. Back in the kitty litter, and White is in front with Ryan and Werner second and third wheel. Frederick continues in fourth with Liverman in fifth. 
The race situation at the U is static, and along with Frederick putting in a big ride, the Jam Fund racer Trent Blackburn is also right there. On the power section, and Werner gives it just a touch more throttle, and Ryan starts to lose the wheel. But he recovers well and is right back in it on the stairs. Frederick and Liverman chase with Blackburn a couple strides behind. Over the mini planks and back to the sand and it looks like the pace has finally shaken out a selection. White is leading the way with Ryan in second. Werner is in third spot with Frederick in fourth. Early instigator Liverman is hustling to catch back on in fifth. And just like that, we're down to three. Frederick and Liverman start to lose the group. At the big U, it looks like Ryan is starting to lose a little ground as well. Warner, meanwhile, is testing that low to high line. White still hasn't found a line he's happy with as he sticks to the high side this time around the sweeper. Ryan, Frederick, Liverman, and Blackburn make up the top six. And starting to inch his way closer to the leaders, Eric Thompson is still chasing in seventh. It's taken until just over halfway through the race, but the two favorites, without really attacking at all, find themselves off the front. White and Werner are now a leading duo as the rest of the leaders have now become chasers. Ryan, Liverman, and Frederick make up the next group. Blackburn continues his strong ride a little farther back and just behind him, like he missed the bus and is chasing it down the block, here comes Eric Thompson. At the sweeper and White is still hunting for the perfect line. Fast laps means he gets lots of looks during this 60 minute race. Behind White, Liverman has recovered and worked his way into sole possession of third, with Frederick still holding down fourth. Alex Ryan tenuously holds on to fifth as Thompson has him in his sights in sixth after going by Blackburn now in seventh. How big are the gaps at this point? From up on high, we can see exactly where the leaders stand. At the staircase, Werner and White continue to grow their lead without putting in any attacks. The action, however, is taking place behind. As Thompson, he's caught Alex Ryan and is able to power by him on their descent. Fifth place in the race for Thompson. Through the woods and back to home, we have five laps left in this race and the leaders are coming through the finish side by side. Twenty-seven seconds behind the leaders, Liverman is in sole possession of third place. Frederick is another 25 seconds back in fourth, but only five seconds behind him is the kill point king, Eric Thompson, moving up even more. Go Cross race organizers aren't charging any extra for lines, so White is going to try them all. This time he sticks to the high side. A minute or so behind, Thompson has picked up another spot, going by Frederick and moving into fourth. A little farther back and Ryan and Blackburn are also in a tight battle. Around the U with four laps to go and it's status quo at the front. We're in the power section and these two may as well be the only ones on this track. So much space between White, Werner, and the rest of the field.
And now we have three laps to go and Werner moves back to the front. The combination of fast lap times and these two being so far off the front is that more and more riders continue to get pulled. By the end of this race, we may only have six guys left on track. Back at the big sweeper and it's the low line for Werner and White this time through if you're scoring at home. Liverman continues his solo ride in third as Thompson has the podium in his sights. Unlike the women's race in which Carolyn Mani and Becca Faringer exchanged attack after attack after attack, this race has set up entirely different. It seems almost like there's a detente at the front. These guys aren't mailing it in. They're going fast. But the matches are being kept nice and dry as no attacks happen and the laps continue to tick down. They may not be attacking, but they are carving out some pretty lines on the flow sections of this VBR Go Cross track. You want a clinic on how to corner? Just watch this clip over and over and you'll know everything you need to. Tape to tape to tape all day long. All right, homework is done. It's time to get to school. Curtis White and Kerry Werner are getting their final look at the finish of this race. The penultimate time through the finishing stretch. That's right, it's the bell lap. We have one, two, go. There is no fear of anyone catching them and they know it. This one is all about who is going to go first. Who is going to go first? Werner leads the way through the opening turn. Liverman, Thompson, and Frederick follow a few minutes back. Last time through the U-turns that lead to the sand and White remains on Werner's wheel. And boom, right at the last second, before they reach the beach, Curtis accelerates to take the lead. Now we're racing, now we have it, it is on. Through the big U and Curtis continues in the lead. Can Werner pull a knee and get around before the sweeper? No, Curtis drifts wide and takes away the line and maintains the lead going into the back of the course. And when we see them again, it's Curtis White with a small gap. Werner knows he has to go around now or it's all over. And he's not going to do it. Curtis White, Cannondale Cyclocross World takes the go cross win. Kerry Werner is second. Travis Liverman takes third, and the ride of the day goes to Eric Thompson in fourth, and the surprise of the day goes to Ben Frederick in fifth. Welcome back, Ben. Thanks for tuning in to Cyclocross Television. Please subscribe to the channel and tell your Cyclocross friends to do the same. CX Heat Check Power Rankings are coming up next. For Cyclocross Television, CX Hairs, and the Wide Angle Podium Network, I'm Bill Scheich. See you soon, Cyclocross friends.